Okay, I'm feeling a little harassed by the Turkish military right now. Here he's approaching. He seems to be on a patrol in Greek waters right now. How do you know they called us? Uh, after that, uh, you will go uh, Fethiye. You will enter the area after 1 6 p.m. Over. Should have gotten the camera out earlier. They are super close. All of a sudden, we got intercepted by a Turkish warship. But they just totally circled us with this ship. So I think we're going to turn around. Everyone is now breaking formation. How are my little sailors? He's working the winch. He's working the winch. Grounded. What do you think of it so far, Ash? It's it's fun and it's kind of hard. Kind of hard. Yeah. Especially for me because I can't do the full circle. We're cruising past the beachfront at the very northern tip of Rodos. There's some big, fancy-looking hotels. Lots of beaches. We're docked in the. Uh, Mandraki Marina and uh, we have a pretty nice slip here. It's a pretty beautiful spot. It's a short walk right to the city center and the whole castle. It's 30 euro for the night, which is great for catamaran pricing and that includes internet, electric, and water. Now assuming that when we pull out we aren't caught on the infamous chain that all the pilot books have warned us about, then this will be a great spot. We ended up having to anchor. I don't quite understand why he didn't let us use the mooring line. But we dropped anchor and uh, We'll see tomorrow if we end up making a horror story video about having to pull that anchor up. So how's your, your first docking experience in Greece? I gotta say that uh, Nick just totally impressed me. He knew, he went up. I kind of held the boat in place while he got things ready. The kids, kids were total rock stars. They got the bumpers out and tied on. Sophia, what'd you think? And it was awesome. It a went... bunch of people came to watch us. I think yeah. the key was that we were patient. Is that 220 euro per kilo? Is that good? Well, yeah. Maybe it was triple that in Turkey. I think that's probably because uh, they have a little better support system for imports wow. here. finished the first step of the checkout process in the customs office. Oh, we're at two which hours. We've been told that it can take a minimum three hours in Rodos and that they, you get different stories about what order to go in and that's exactly what happened. One party told us to come here first. When we got here they said, oh no, you need to go to the other place first. Luckily we were able to convince them that it was okay if we did our thing here first and so they did it and they were really friendly and nice, especially once they see we're a family. Most people that come in do this for the day or two days like we are will hire an agent and they hire an agent because they don't want to waste their time while they're on holiday but for us being that we're on an extended trip it's something we wanted to do ourselves and save a few bucks 
go through the process, try to understand it, especially since we're the owner and I'm the captain of the ship. Daddy Most of the agents. Daddy was being cheap. Daddy was being cheap. That's cheap not again. it at all. Is he heavy? Yeah. yeah. Your arm's going down, bud. You look good, bud. Sophia, you think you like to try it? Oh, look at that one. Let's him hold it upside down. Look at baby. Oh, okay. My baby, my baby. Oh my goodness. Go scared, go scared. The best thing. Get the best thing. Mommy? Mommy, you want it? Do you think he enjoys that? I don't know. Do you feel really relaxed? Is he missing yeah. a foot? Oh, there it is. Family, welcome. Very good food. I have a salmon, I have a I have a seafood, Greek food. How's it look, Sophia? What you're hoping for? We just found some birds. Wait, went to eat. The guy had the parrots, which we knew was a tourist trap mistake, a rookie mistake. But he did do parody things with the kids. So we went in to eat, paid attention to our bill. We knew there were going to be some extra prices for things. So when the when the bill came, he ordered he charged us for four breads, even though we said one. He ordered us for two of the dipping sauces, even though we asked for one. He charged us for two beers, even though we said we wanted to split one. So he just, it was just wrong. And the, the prices for all the add-ons were more, oh, yeah, were inflated food. more than the food. The food prices were reasonable. But this guy was just tricky. When I called him on it, he started calling me a liar and he was just... just the general idea is it's frustrating to feel ripped off when you're in this kind of place but and you want to relax. Well, we've had quite a switch from Panormides last night where it was like a peaceful quiet monastery, sounds of birds chirping to Rodos, which is party central and we're docked right downtown. I'll give you a little taste here. So what are we up to today, Alex? We are shopping. So we got a, fuel, a full fuel tank, a full water tank, clean boat, a full fridge. Full energy tank. Yep. Full battery. Full charge. Full battery. Up. Just pulled out a Mandraki, which is a tricky one because of the anchor. Mommy just was a rock star. And everything went exactly as it should have. The anchor dropped where it was going to. We had one small snag. We got someone's mooring line, which is not the big change. So we were fine with it. Just had to reach my arm down and cuss at it a little bit and it finally <laughs> finally got released. We brought the anchor up and everyone is now happy and enjoying a, a nice afternoon sail. Sea. Open ocean. <laughs> Open sea. And, and there's look, there's right so now. many waves. <laughs> so we're sleeping in a bit this morning while we're here in Lindos. This is our view in the morning. By the way, we're not <coughs> leopard blanket fans. Came with the boat. It's warm. Is the this is our view out the window, and we keep spinning because it's a windy day. So we've got a window on the ceiling, a window on the wall, and a window in the back. Here's the view out the back window. See a castle in the distance. Everybody's having some breakfast. Jax is probably dying to go to the bathroom. Hey Jax, we made it. Wanna go for a walk? Come on. So this is the place for Jax. Why is life made only for the end? I think I like it better here than Rodos. Face the fortune in the bile. I heard you on the radio, I couldn't help but smile. 
in the city only for a while. Oh. So something didn't feel right about the way our anchor set yesterday when we pulled in here. And on the charts and the books it says there's rocks mixed with sand and you gotta be careful about getting caught on the rocks. So I came out with the mask, I just stuck my head in over the side of the dinghy, and sure enough, our chain is tangled around a rock. The anchor is just laying on its side on top of the sand. So we're gonna have a little bit of a trick getting out of here. Amazing that we're in, you know, 28 feet of water where we dropped water is just so crystal clear that I could see exactly where. It, it shouldn't be too bad, like not that I need to dive on it, but I might need to maneuver the boat in a very specific way to get it untangled when we're trying to pull it up. And it also explains why the other four sailboats in the anchorage went over there, which is where the charts and the books said not to go because you're impeding in the beach area. But they know local knowledge. Do it anyways, probably because you get a better anchor. Stinks because Jax is whining because he's got so many birds. I came up with a song. Are you ready for this? We got birds in our shoes, we got birds on our pants. We got furs in our furs, just like Jex. Daddy carried Asher, and I smelled a goat. You want to tell us what we're doing, Ash? We're going back from our walk at the caves that we thought would be fun until I fell. During our hike today, Jax found some burrs and we just could not get them all out. So, Jax got a shave. Poor Jax! That's when you know you love your pet. Acropolis inside. That was pretty cool too. Do you have another adjective for me? Kids finally got their beach time, and Mommy and I are getting our shades time. The sand here is outrageously beautiful. Real
Okay, this is our first real sail. We're stretching the limits of the boat a little bit for what we know. We've got 18 knots of wind. We're reefed and we're at two-thirds the head sail and we're pushing eight knots. We uh, started out on a beam but we're getting to be reaching a little bit and it's flowing but it's consistent. So it feels good. We're right on course. Breakfast has arrived. We are sailing and nobody is feeling good. Not even Jack. Maybe mom and dad. Ah. We've got some ship traffic up ahead that we might have to do something to deviate or swift. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Down in the cockpit, things are going well. Sophia's saying hi, X is saying hi. Oh, there's the boys inside. Too tired. Just to give you an idea of our current speed. if that is the time frame. Channel 16. I guess that's the end of the conversation. We, we stay out here 50 miles away until 1600 hours, or we go back to Rodos. And it is what time right now? 12.43? So uh, three hours of... Do we want to linger for three hours and then get into an unfamiliar bay after midnight? Or do we want to go back to the city upwind? Well, so fill us in as to what happened here. So we were cruising along. Making just... great time. And all of a sudden we got intercepted by a Turkish warship. I say intercepted is that they came right up to us. That They told us that we were entering a, a restricted zone where they're doing some kind of missile test, is what I heard. And then told us to alter course. But they just totally circled us with this ship. Are they still out there? There they are. So I think we're gonna we're gonna turn around, and go back towards Rodos. Should have gotten the camera out earlier. They are super close. Okay, I'm feeling a little uh, harassed by the Turkish military right now. Here he's approaching. He seems to be on a patrol in Greek waters right now. I never even got into Turkish waters. The chatter might be calling for us again. Oh, did you hear that? It's oh, insane. That was a whole lot of noise. That was a whole lot of noise. Oh, there goes a whole series of weapons shooting from the warships over there. Nine boats over there, they're doing exercises, hopefully exercises, shooting off the different weaponry. Sometimes they're big booms, sometimes they're rapid fire. The warships are still doing some gunfire. Sounds like the 4th of July here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ships. And then we're theorizing that over here, close to the actual naval base, there's another ship, and he's got 
about 10 radar domes on top of him and it was a little bit bigger. We're theorizing that he's kind of the command ship. We're doing a remote command and orchestrating the action. We think that the training exercise must be ending because everyone is now breaking formation. I, it is so difficult to see, but they're just dotting the horizon out there. Wow. I gotta say, this, is, this really is just crazy. I've, I've never seen anything like this. And they're still, going over they're there. still firing over there. How lucky that we have lived this long and never had to encounter this kind of... We uh, found the nearest anchorable bay and it happens to be a tourist bay where there's three boats pulled in since we've been here with glass bottom boats and one hour tours from the nearer ho nearby resort hotels. Nice spot. I'm getting ready to jump in. I know it's chilly, so I'm not really excited about it. I'm gonna go swim over to our anchor and just make sure it's secure. Cause but here it goes. <laughs> ah, chilly, chilly, chilly. Can't tell if I have the water. How's it feel? It's cool. Yeah. It feels good though. I feel like we're getting better and better at this anchoring thing. This bay is ideal. It's all sand, which is funny because it's so rocky looking. <laughs> Looks like daggers of death waiting to catch the back of our boat. But, yay! So are we making lemon daiquiris of our lemons? We definitely have taken the lemons that the day has given us and turned them into delicious lemon drinks. We did not make it to Turkey like we thought that we were going to because of those dreaded Turkish warships yeah. that <laughs> rerouted us before we, we uh, crossed the Turkish border for those missile testings. But we found this adorable cove here. And now everyone is reading and enjoying this lovely afternoon respite. That's all we have for you this time. Join us next time as we explore Fethiye, Gocek, and have a run-in with the gendarmerie. That's the Turkish police. Be sure to subscribe.